From falling face first into a cactus to shooting someone in the face with a bow and arrow to faking a heart attack in front of the entire family. Let me tell you weird stories about my grandpa from my mother's side. The first story goes from my grandpa from when he was still a lot younger. Sometimes he and his brothers or friends would go sailing. So one day he was on water like a lake or something on his sailboat and there were these couple of guys in a canoe. Basically they were just plain annoying people and they kept passing their canoe right in front of their sailboat like ha ah! Basically just to be completely annoying and just cut them off all the time. My grandpa being a very assertive person said to them, if you do that one more time I'm sailing right through your canoe. The thing is my grandpa is never sarcastic, if he says something like like that, he will 100% mean that, but a lot of people, you know, who don't know them, don't get that. So those guys went like, haha, yeah, sure, and within a few minutes, they sailed again right in front of their boat. So my grandpa took like the steering, whatever it's called, yanked it and went right through the canoe. It's not like they went over it and they, you know, fell and it was pushed down. No, the canoe was split into two as the boat rammed right through it. Those guys were like, what is this? Because their canoe suddenly split in two and they were in the water and my grandpa just continued and was like, I just said I would. Which I think was actually rather hilarious. <laughs> One day it was Easter morning and we decided we would have Easter breakfast with the family at my grandparents' house. So we all went over there and there was a whole breakfast buffet. There was lots of, of good stuff to eat. The thing is, we were with a a rather large group of people but also we didn't have that many chairs so there were a couple of stools you know without a back part so my grandpa sat down on one of those and actually accidentally like slipped off and fell on the ground not hard because he could actually regain his posture and you know catch himself in the fall but he thought you know what this is the perfect opportunity to fake a heart attack so he just laid on the floor and went <coughs> as if he had a stroke or heart attack or whatever and he just like spasmed there on the floor my youngest cousin was 12 at the time she started crying I was about 14 I was like oh god what's happening everyone was like oh god grandpa dad everyone was like no what's happening and he just got up like ha 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 we were like no don't do that again and my youngest cousin was like why would you do that and he was like oh I'm sorry I didn't mean it like that he still thought it was pretty hilarious when we were still all a bit younger my family would sometimes go out and go to a pool and swim with all of us so do you know the butterfly stroke where you basically go like this and you, you like swoosh your body through the water. I was a swimmer as you can see. I actually was but nevertheless. He was doing that stroke but the thing is he didn't see the side like the edge of the pool and he smashed his face right into the wall. But that is not the weirdest thing he had done at a pool. You see at the pool we would always go there is a wave pool. A wave pool being a very big pool and at the other side of the pool where it's like the deepest part there are these like grids that with machines behind them. Basically behind prison bars that's what they look like and they basically push and pull the water to create waves and every half an hour or so those go on and there's just a lot of waves as if you're on the sea and everyone loves jumping into the waves and everything. Once when we were swimming there my grandpa was like you know what I'm actually very curious what it looks like for those machines to create the waves. The thing is at the machines there's basically like a floating line and they're like don't go behind this line because you can get sucked up in the machine and then you drown. So my grandpa stayed right in front of the line as he should but he was very curious to see what it looked like. So basically he went face first into the water and just floated floated there without moving, basically like so he floated behind the line and he was still not moving and everything. So the lifeguard looked at him and he saw this man of age floating there face down, not moving at all, just like moving on the waves. He hit the emergency stop button, like all the waves suddenly went like normally they go like gradually away, but this one I mean, was like Boo. So the lifeguard was like, sir, sir, oh no, and he was, you know, I was he was about to rescue him. When my grandpa just came up and was like, why well, should turn off the waves? And he was like, sir, you can't go behind the line. I thought you were drowning. And he was like, no, I was just looking where the waves were made. So yeah, that's basically how he shut down the pool. When he wasn't retired yet, he was a painter for houses and, you know, constructions, a painter like that. So one day he was painting a stripe and some random person just goes by and was like, and don't, are you, you sure, are you sure you don't want to do that differently? Ha ha ha. The thing is, he was like a very, very good professional and he was very annoyed by random people just being like you're not doing your job well because you know they don't know what they're doing because they're not actually in the profession most people would probably have ignored that or whatever but he goes do you want me to paint the stripe with your blood which you know is also a way to solve it I guess when I was in elementary school I had a friend let's call him daddy my family and my grandpa too really didn't like Danny all of that much <laughs> this was during the time that my 
sister was very crazy about dinosaurs. Every large one hour break in school, I would go home to my grandparents house because it was very close by to my elementary school. So after 12 o'clock, I went there and, and Danny was walking with me. My grandpa grabbed, when he saw us coming, he grabbed a Triceratops mask from my sister, put it on, ran outside, looked at Danny and goes like, Hello Danny, wouldn't you like to have one of these too? The thing is, with his actual name and in Dutch, this actually rhymed. And he goes on to create a whole rhyme that lasted like minutes long, spontaneously, with Danny's name. Basically, the whole story of the rhyme was that Danny was probably very jealous of my grandpa because he didn't look as cool in a Triceratops mask and he didn't have one. I just laughed hysterically for those minutes and while Danny was just standing there like... One time he was in a carnival ride with my aunt. It was basically one of those things where there are two parts where people can sit and like this long bar in between and it's really high and just goes like this. Basically you go, you know, you go over the top, you go very high, it's awful and I would never go in there. But he decided to go in there with my aunt. When they were like at the top and they were going like really fast, he pulled this face. My aunt was of course very worried because she was afraid that the adrenaline or something had done something to his heart and he was like having a stroke or something. But then when they came out, the G-Force almost knocked out his dental teeth. And he was just desperately trying to get those to not fly across the town because it was like super high and they would have flown over the entire carnival. We were all sitting in their house, at my grandpa uh, grandparents house. And there was a cat that got into their backyard and was about to poop there. Obviously not having cats and having a garden, you don't want someone else's cat to just poop there. So he wanted to scare the cat away. He opens up a window and yells William the cat's name was not William we don't know whose cat it was or anything but he just you know he thought William was the right thing to yell to scare the cat off it worked and now for the stories with the bow and arrow and yes I said stories because multiple things happened with the bow and arrow he would always make his own bow and arrow and they would work very well and he was also actually pretty very good at it so one day he put a target on the field and started target practicing with a friend of his something I did was a little dumb his friend stood next to the target at some point to see where it would go in. So from a very very far distance my grandpa aims at the target, lets go, and he yells did I get it? To which his friend responds yeah in my foot. So there was like a gigantic arrow sticking out from his foot. This is not the worst part yet. When my mother and aunt were still young they would go behind the house and my grandpa would you know target practice on walls and stuff. Basically stuff that's you know safe. At some point there was a pigeon and he said he jokingly said you know what I'll, I'll definitely just shoot this pigeon ha <laughs> ha. Of course having no intention to do so he wanted to shoot besides is like a few meters. The thing is, he aimed wrong and shot the pigeon right out of the air. If that had actually been the intention, it would have been very impressive. And now for the final one, the thing where everyone's always like, oh my god, what? When he was young, there were still things that were called like phone poles, phone pillars, which were basically just wooden pillars that were standing everywhere that connected phone wires across town. Because they were wood, they were great for target practice, so he would shoot with his bow and arrow right into those wooden things. One of those poles was next to like a fire escape hallway thingy outside which would also lead to people's sheds. Here in the Netherlands sometimes your sheds are behind your house and you gotta go through one of those fire escapes and then through a gate. Basically this means you can't see who is coming out if they come out spontaneously. So as one day as he was shooting and he let go of his arrow, one of his fellow kids, because he was still a kid at the time, came running out of the fire escape, passed the phone pillar thingy and got the arrow right through both of his cheeks. So he stood there with an arrow like right through his face basically and he was like oh god oh god rushing to the <laughs> to the emergency exit having the arrow removed everything stitched up my grandpa of course felt awful he was completely fine at the end that's that which makes me of course very glad but it sure made a story to tell both on our side and probably he is telling this story as well. You know that old meme took an arrow in the knee from the game Skyrim? I used to be an adventurer like you but then I took an arrow in the face. Whoa! So hey let me know. What are some really crazy stories from your family I would love to know and if you want to laugh and have comedy videos twice a week into your subscription box you can of course subscribe to this channel I post a story to get to know each other a little bit better like this on Saturday and on Wednesday I post something to solely entertain you such as a comedy sketch all of that because I want to light up your day and believe that comedy and positivity can improve your life but above all I really hope you like this video and I would love to see you next time